as we're uh, looking at the possibility of a rapture on Purim. My friend David here. Thank you, David. He sent this uh, message to me about Esther 930. Copies of this letter were sent to Jews to the 127 provinces of King Xerxes. In the letter, they said, we pray that all of you will live in peace and safety. In Hebrew, that is shalom and emet. Admit. And uh, this version here translates that. I believe the New Living Translation. Letters wishing peace and security were sent to the Jews throughout the 127 provinces of the Empire of Xerxes. Yes. Letters wishing peace and security were sent to the Jews throughout the 120 provinces of the Empire of Xerxes. So this is about Purim. In preparation for Purim, letters, letters wishing peace and security. We pray that all of you will live in peace and safety. That is, in Hebrew, shalom and emet. Emet normally being translated as truth, but holding in this context, since the Jews were under the danger, is translated peace and security in some translations. And we know that uh, that is meaningful to us who are watching and waiting for the glorious appearing of the great God and our Savior in the clouds. We know that uh, 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 speaks of a clue for the timing of the rapture. For when they shall say peace... And safety. Then sudden destruction comes upon them as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. But you, brethren, are not in darkness, that that day should overtake you as a thief. So, this terminology of peace and safety, when they're saying peace and safety, I believe we can take that to be a hint to the timing of the rapture. The verses just before this is the very rapture chapter. We which are alive and remain shall be caught up with them in the clouds to be with the Lord, to meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. First Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 16 and 17. The dead in Christ will rise first. And First Thessalonians 4. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up with them together in the clouds. And then First Thessalonians 5, when they say peace and safety. Then sudden destruction comes upon them. There's the clue. The clue for the timing of the rapture. But it's not. So when they're saying peace and safety, sudden destruction comes upon them. It's like a woman with child. And we're remembering that Revelation 12 sign. We're remembering the woman in labor and all of these things, dear friends, as we're watching and waiting. But you, brethren, are not in darkness that that day would overtake you as a thief. You are children of light and children of the day. We are not of the night nor of the darkness. Therefore, let us not sleep as do others, but let us watch and be sober. For they that sleep, sleep in the night, and they that be drunken are drunken in the night. But let us who are of the day be sober, putting on the breastplate of faith and love, and for a helmet, the hope of salvation. For God has not appointed us to wrath, but to obtain salvation by our Lord Jesus Christ, who died for us, that whether we wake or sleep, we should live together with him. Wherefore, comfort yourselves together and edify one another, even as also you do. Comfort yourselves and know that this day that they're saying peace and safety is going to come upon them. And just maybe Purim. Only God knows for sure the day and the hour. Here's a contemporary English version. Copies of this letter were sent to Jews in the 127 provinces of King Xerxes in the letter. They said, we pray that all of you will live in peace and safety. So where um, that is directly related to Purim in that instance. And it is a day of festivities as we did point out here in this uh, other uh, video it is um, it is um, true that so this is the peace and emit truth so as we look at this as we look at this um, video here on maybe a Purim rapture. I see there was some comment on this that caught my attention. Are waiting for our Lord Jesus Christ. 
to appear in the clouds and for the shaking. And so we see in this uh, verse in Amos 8.10, as we've already said in the past video, I will turn your feast into mourning and all your songs into lamentations if the rapture happened on the Feast of Purim. It would be a shocking thing and uh, very well could be. But there was an interesting comment on here by Rebecca that, uh, you know, a dream may be meaningful. It may not be meaningful. But she said, I had a dream on February 16th where Jesus said, the bride leaves on Purim. So that was part of her dream. And God can speak through dreams, but uh, only God knows for sure. We're not putting a dream in, uh, as a definite a definite, uh, a definite thing that we can count on for sure. But it's interesting. As we're waiting and watching, I say it's a good time to tell your friends it's time to get humble before the Lord and receive the Lord. We know everything is falling in this world as uh sister jan says it's not falling apart it's falling into place the stage is being set for the tribulation we don't know the day and the hour of the rapture but we're watching and the time is now urgent and far beyond urgent i don't know about tomorrow i just live from day to day, I don't borrow from its sunshine, for its skies may turn to gray. I don't worry o'er the future, for I know what Jesus said, and today I walk beside him, for he knows what is ahead. Many things about tomorrow I don't seem to understand but i know who holds tomorrow and i know who holds my hand <clears throat> every step is getting brighter as the golden stairs i climb every burden's getting lighter every cloud is silver lined there the sun is always shining, there no tear will dim the eye, at the ending of the rainbow, where the mountains touch the sky. I don't know about tomorrow, it may bring me poverty, but the one who feeds the sparrow, is the one who stands by me and the path that be my portion may be through the flame or flood but his presence goes before me and i'm covered with his blood many things about tomorrow i don't seem to understand but I know who holds tomorrow, and I know who holds my hand. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and lift his countenance upon you and give you peace. He died for you.com. Pray at 316.com. Jesus Christ is coming soon.